Pumpkin, you got some pumpkin and some nutmeg. I got the nutmeg right up, right up front. Maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit of cinnamon too. Ah, whew, smells good. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and taste it. Yeah, very, very light pumpkin taste. I don't get much pumpkin. I do get a bunch of nutmeg. It's a slight malty too. Kind of sweet. But in the background, you do get some nice uh, toasted malts. I say toasted malts, toast, like a toast uh, type of flavor. Um, yeah, not bad, not bad at all. You do get nutmeg. I mean, that nutmeg and that uh, stuff is really coming out. But uh, a little bit of allspice too. That's that's not too bad. I would I would drink that. As a matter of fact, I think it's in a few minutes, uh, me and the wife are going to do a uh, what's called a pumpkin bomb. You know how you got the Irish car bomb? I know that's derogatory now. But the Irish car bomb, you get Guinness. And drop in a shot of uh, uh, Bailey's and some uh, Jameson. Drop it down in there and chug it down. And well, we're going to do that with with uh, some Irish. Uh, I'm sorry, Irish got pumpkin ale. So uh, watch for that. It's going to be the next video probably. But uh, yeah, not too bad stuff. Mm. The more I drink it though, I am getting more of the pumpkin. But man, a lot of that allspice and that that nutmeg, nutmeg really in there a lot. And that's I guess the spices. They said pumpkin and spices. So anyway, good stuff, guys. This stuff from Long, what it called? What the from? Long, uh, Longwood, Florida. This is the All Hallows Imperial Pumpkin Ale. Peace. Choice no matter, do they? Well, that's that's his choice. Get the hell out! 